Want to take a minute to start of this to say what's up. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Welcome back to more Elden Ring. I've had a lot of fun with this series. Not sure why y'all like that. Uh, I've learned a lot since part three to now. Uh, I, I've learned so much. I watch other people play a little bit here and there to kind of see what they're doing. Maybe something I'm not learning yet or haven't learned yet. You just have to discover the game on your own. It's kind of like what I chalk it up to. There's just a giant world. You just got to get lost and find something, you know? So uh, all the love and support, greatly appreciate it. If you want more of this game, quickly just keep it up. I love you all. Let's get it. All right, we are good to go. Uh, welcome back to more Elden Ring. Appreciate all the support, by the way. What I was going to show you is the last time we left off, I don't know what my level was, but I did level up a little bit. Um, I'll show you guys everything right now. Still trying to get more Ashes of War. I don't. I only have the one. I have the Wolves. Uh, level up. I'll show you. I'm level 23 right now. Uh, I got pretty much the health up to 26. Everything else is kind of balanced. I've heard Arcane is like the worst thing. But I don't know if they've changed it since then. I saw where the Bloody Wolf, because I think in the earlier, like the first video, I was like, where, where's that at? Um, they actually took that. And it's just an armor set in the game. I'm not sure why they took it out. But, all right, here's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to look at guides or anything like that. I've heard the best way to play this game is just simply just explore, find stuff, and just get get lost in the game. It's like Breath of the Wild, essentially. Um, I wanted to check out what's down here, but I wanted to see... I heard there's something over here from the network test. I don't know if it's a boss fight or what. I'm going to try to... I, I could follow the critical path, but that's not going to be any fun if I just run around and try to fight the main bosses. These lines... You'll kind of see anytime you're near like a campfire, you'll see like the little beams going a certain direction. They're trying to lead you to like the critical path. This takes us to the Margit uh, boss fight. I think that's the boss's name. The one on the network test I struggled with. I saw a comment that said I'm going to do like five or six videos and never play it again. I'm going to try to actually, like, I really want to commit to this game. Um, I ain't going to break these. I've seen these like once or twice. Actually, maybe you can't. There we go. Golden Rune. Still kind of learning what a lot of this stuff does. I've actually been looking at a lot of the comments. You guys kind of been helping me with that, so. want to check out this area back here. See if there's anything new. I'm still not sure how you get more flasks, stuff like that. I'm assuming, like, when you fight the main bosses, they, they probably drop it. A lot of these other bosses, you can skip these. Uh, I learned a little bit about parrying uh, since the last video. I leveled up. Just been kind of just running around aimlessly. I didn't want to, and I haven't fought any bosses or anything. I just kind of, well, it's like some time with the game. Oh, it's this door right here. This is for the network test. I never got a chance to show a video of this, but I did. I think I went went down here. <laughs> um, I don't know if anything's different. Everything seems familiar. Lost Grace. Let's go. A proper death means returning to the... I don't know if that's... I keep wanting to say Erd Tree. Erd Tree, maybe? I don't know. Not sure how you really pronounce it. I probably butchered it. All kinds. <laughs> Okay. All right, buddy. The jumping attack is something I'm trying to get better at. That right there does so much damage. There we go. Aren't they ambushed me? That's fine. I'll flask up. You can tell my health is a little higher than the last video. I have essentially any chance I get. I'll be like watching like the lore and stuff like that about it. Um, I've just been kind of just getting lost in this game. There's just so much to take in, you know? Oh, we got this little thing right here, which I think this is the respawn thing. We can respawn here if we wind up dying. Summoning pool is now functional. I don't, actually, I don't know if that's the right thing or not. Grave glove wart. Okay. Wart. We have a door back there, but what is down here? Oh, yeah. Locked by some contraption. Probably going to get jumped here in a minute. Shield up already. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Oh, I so I got my sword up to plus three. I know that's not that high. Like later on in the game, we're gonna be like plus 25 on certain weapons and stuff like that. But right now, like it's helping a little bit. I, I feel like I'm doing a little more damage, so I'll take it. Parry thing there. The heavy attacks are just so strong in this game. I might try to like use those more. Now, one thing I'm still not sure about the top of the. Is there like the flasks on the bottom and like the swords on the right, shield on the left? Nothing on the top, but I've seen other videos of people using like the. Like the magic and stuff. What's this? Okay, yeah, I don't remember any of this. I think I came down here but like dipped out. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Popped up and kind of scared me a little bit. A little bleed effect. Assuming there's a hiding spot to the right. We'll have to just run for it. Oh my god. Uh, hold on. Is there anything to the left, I wonder? Gone. Hey, he's on the back here. Prattling Pate, hello. Okay. Whatever that is. We'll wait right here. There's like a stopping point right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Probably something behind this one, too. Yeah, I see something. On, oh, there's one of those things in the back, too. All right. Wait right here. I wonder if I can lure the enemy over here. There's two of them. Three of them. All right, let's get it over with. Come on, hop down. I guess you want me to get this first. Yeah, that's right. If I just leave y'all there, I can't do anything. Yeah, take it. Let's go, baby. Well played. I'll take. There's more. But wait, there's more. Hey, let's go. I've had a lot of fun with this game already. I, you know what I feel like? I've always wanted to finish the Soulsborne game on my channel, and God, I would love for this like the first one. By the way, the support of the first video, I just saw it, um, really means a lot to me. Come on, buddy. Hopefully there's another uh, campfire because kind of out of flasks now. What is down here? Where we just came from. What about down here? Looks like the other room. I'm assuming there's like a lot of hidden stuff down here I haven't seen yet. There's a lever right there. Okay. Well, let's see what's down this side. Seems like an ordinary enemy. Probably multiple. Yep. The fact that they're like on the wall is kind of crazy. There we go. Oh, we got ashes. Yo, let's get it. Yo, I need to equip that like right now. Oh, I, I put this over here. I don't know why. I just like to break them all up. <laughs> Wait, can you only have one equipped? It should be on the bottom, right? There it is. Wandering noble ashes. Uh, looks like... I wish I could put these on top, you know? I don't have anything else up there. I tried to look and see if there's actually a way, but... I didn't see anything. That's cool, we got that. Alright. Well, I was looking to see if there's more ashes out there. I, I didn't know, because it's like... You're supposed to get them from, like, bodies or bosses or just regular enemies. 
Alright, I'm assuming we hop down right here. There's like a lever. Let's see what this does. Somewhere, I oh, that door back there. Yeah, the one that was locked up. All right, I'm assuming up here to the left is the door. Something's behind me. Hold on. I probably should go back and rest at the fire really quick. Uh, hold on. Let's go through this door really quick. There could very well be another spot here. Oh, well. Well, that is a boss fight. Hold on. Let's go back over here. What I'll do is uh, I'll, I'll rest, and then I'm just going to run straight to it. I think it. Yeah, it's up here. How convenient. Hey, let's go. I haven't died yet. I'll take it. I need to enjoy it while I can. I need 36... 3678. All right. I feel like this is one of those games you should live stream. You know what I mean? One day I'll get into that rhythm. All right, let's see. I kind of want to try out this uh, wandering noble ashes. I, actually, you can't even use them in this area. So never mind. All right, whatever this is, let me just go ahead and get my brain mentally prepared. Here we go. Traverse the mist. Oh, I can summon. Get it out of here. What is this? Oh, that is sick. Okay, that is scary. Burial Watchdog. Got in front of him. Okay. They're still alive. All right, the fact that you're kind of looking at me like that is very scary. Yo, that little quick motion. Let's, uh, heal up really quick. I'm assuming you can't... Well, they're all dead. It's just it's me and this demonic thing. Okay. Okay. What in the world? Yo, this thing is freaky. Okay. I can't summon anything else. I'm gonna die, I feel like. I'm trying to just... Yo, what in the world? One more of these. I'm just gonna try to stay back a little bit. Nothing crazy happens. Hey, let's go. Dude, the parry saved me at the end right there. Okay. Noble Sorcerer Ashes. Uh, something else. That's two ashes we've gotten. Alright. Yo, look at this little, like... What we got here? Oh, this is a return to the entrance thing. You know, one of my all-time favorite games. I never... I have never played it on my channel. But I want you, like, to know, like, it's... For those of you that don't know me, <laughs> uh, it's always been Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That one is by far my absolute favorite. So, like, while this game is not like it, it, it kind of reminds me of it sometimes. Just because, like, these type of things you see, like the imagery and everything, the types of weird bosses, that's kind of what you run into in that type of game, you know? So, that was pretty cool. I think I beat that boss first try, and it, it wasn't that bad. I think towards the end, I was like, I got kind of antsy because I was really wanting to, like, just, I guess, parry. But I got kind of over, I overextended myself just a little bit. Uh, 31. Yeah, I'm really close to leveling up. Oh, let's go ahead and check some more stuff out. So, 
Put these on the bottom. I'm gonna move these really quick. Hold on. Move them over here. Put that there. Put this one second. Put this one third. Alright, so... Noble Sorcerer's Spirit. Interesting. I gotta admit that uh, that boss fight, while it was kind of scary, I was it was pretty intense. Let's fast travel back over to the church. Go over there really quick. Probably save it till morning or whatever. I want to see if I can craft anything. Oh, by the way, crafting is is pretty simple. I just I don't really have anything I really need to make right now. I have stuff I I can create, but like these, if I wanted to throw like bone darts. Yeah, I don't know. Not really necessary. Let's talk to this guy again. Wait. Won't you? Won't he always says the same back. thing. Uh talk? Perhaps you don't need to hear this, but see that no harm comes to my kin. We have a saying, we wanderers. Lament not your solitude. Expect no sympathy, no regard, nothing. But if anyone dares harm us. Show them no mercy. That is our code, so to speak. Just the way we are. Deeply unforgiving. Hmm. Purchase, see if he has anything I can get that really... I thought about getting, like, the torch and stuff, but I, I don't know. I don't really need it. The cookbook, I don't quite know, like, where you use this at. Uh, I thought about buying the cracked pots, but I'm about to level up, so I don't want to... Kind of just learning everything. Any comments you leave, by the way, I've been checking them out. Yeah, I don't see any need because I've already I've already got my sword maxed out at plus three. Uh, I don't like the other weapon. All right, you see how this is kind of? I think it follows this right here. Okay, we saw that area. Um, what else could we check out over here? There's got to be more to it. We had a boss over in here. The no, it was like the dragon down there. I haven't fought that really. Okay. I'm going to mark this because I really just want to check it out. Actually, I don't know. Why did I put a mark there? Hold on. Let me remove that. I'm, just play, I'm going to place a beacon really quick. Yeah, like right there. We'll go to Seaside Ruins and just run over there. Yo, look at that artwork. It's so nice. Uh, let's wait till morning and then uh, we'll head over there. I've had a lot of fun with this game. It's like... I know it's a stressful type of game. Flask, let's see. What do you need here? Golden seed. Yeah, I don't have any. Wait, what? Wait, no shot. Where did I... Not enough gold seeds. I wish it would just tell you what you have. Yo, I... I guess I had this stuff and didn't realize it. Look at that. The more you know now. I have... Five... What in the world? Five to one. That's a lot of scrolling. I might have to see if there's a way. I know I can do like the quick menu like this. Maybe I could summon by putting those over here. Make it faster. I don't know. Because scrolling like this. Oh, let me get to my hills real quick. Like that's just too too much. I don't know. All right. Let's go over here. I'll mark this. Okay. So two things I found. Um, I found that... Sometimes these enemies will kill each other. If you notice right now, they're not taking any damage. I've kind of sat here and watched them when I was chilling the other day. I was like, I wonder what they're doing. And sometimes they're all taking damage. And if you just stand to the side, you get XP for that. Um, let me level up really quick. I'm like close to leveling up. I think if I get these three crabs, I'll... It'll give me about a thousand. There was apparently a patch since I last played, but I, I don't know. Try to get them kind of together. You take a lot of damage here. Sometimes you die. Sometimes, yeah, like right, right there, I'm getting absolutely wrecked. So hold on. But sometimes they will fight each other. I'm gonna die probably. See how he's taking damage. There you go. Do what you gotta do, buddy. Sometimes the crab will pick you up. Come on, buddy. I 
I'm just gonna commit here. There we go. All right, should give me enough. A little over 4,000, yep. All right, we'll go level up really quick. And keep it moving. This series kind of feels like a one video type, like a one video per day type of game. You know what I mean? So I feel like if I rush through it, I'm gonna probably miss out on a lot of stuff. All right, here we go. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet with the videos. I've kind of just been, uh, let's see that. Oh, that puts me to 870. Let's go. I, I was torn because I want to go put more like stamina on me, but I, I don't know. Um, the HP is just so, so nice. You know what I mean? Uh, let's start breaking it up some. Let's get the stamina going. Let's not put it all into one spot. Okay, I want to try something now that we have all the runes. Or not runes, but everything used up. Alright, so, uh, I want to see if you take damage if you hop on this. I don't know if you do. If you die, it is what it is, but... I saw this down here and I was like, do I take damage if I... Okay, yeah, you don't take damage. Cool. Well, now we know. I'm in the current, I think. As long as you're next to it, I think you're good. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Well, there was some stuff down here I didn't check out. I guess I can look around. This is technically called the Seaside Shore. Okay, buddy. You, you apparently have magic and all that good stuff. I don't. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna hop off the horse. Let me just, uh, abort. Yo, this dude is tanky. Oh, I probably could have done a back attack there. Jesus! Block it. There we go. Adding skills. What is this? Ashes of War. Hey, let's go. With the okay. Wait, so knife. You can uh, use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills. Okay, just so he had like that. Okay, that makes sense. You you basically put it on your weapon. Adding affinities. You can use Ashes of War to grant affinities to your armaments. It's at Sights of Grace. Okay. Uh, this way you can alter armaments, attack, affinity, boost, attribute, scaling, and more. That's good to know. Hey, that's something brand new. It's like, that's what I love about this game so far. We literally go into a dark cave, and we leave with, like, a boss kill and, like, two ashes of war. And then we hop down here because we're not sure what's going on, and then we have, you know, an enemy we, we kill and get something else for us. So we gotta go back to the actual campsite. I'm not gonna do that yet. I just wanna see what all we have. Cause I saw this and I didn't know if it was the same thing as like the affinity. This just coats your armament. I'm not. I'm, I'm assuming this is like a limited duration type thing, but I could be wrong. All right, I think we're good. The ashes of war seem very situational. What is back here? It doesn't seem like there's anything else back here. Yeah, you, you can't go in the... Well, can you swim? I don't even think you can. I haven't actually been in the water yet. I'm kind of scared to. We have this section over here. I'm assuming... Even if you get a running start, I don't think you can make it over there even with this lift. You know what I mean? Let's look back here and just see. There could be something else back here. Like a little, little cave. Hold on. Oh, no. This looks kind of dangerous. Uh, let me heal up. This is Elden Ring, so I'm just waiting for anything to attack me. I can't see anything at all. Really, a talisman just for coming in here? Let me see what we got. What is this one? It's this one right here. Okay. Boost holy damage negation. Okay. The hammer talisman and, uh... Enhance the stamina reducing attacks against... Oh, okay. Wait, should I just use that one? The weight's a little more, but... Oh, I don't know. 
I like this one because it raises your your HP overall. Um, which is what we got at the beginning of the game, essentially. Let's hop down here and see what's up. Stranded graveyard. Okay. Wait, is this like... This is... Hold on. This is the beginning of the game. So, that's pretty cool. Read a message. The cave of knowledge lies below. Wait, down here? Oh, wow. Okay, there's something down there, too. Brave Tarnish, take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Okay. So they want me to hop down there and take an L. I got it. Let me go up here to this campfire really quick. Yeah, there's one right here. That's cool how it's all intertwined. I, I, I wonder when they were creating the game why they chose this exact spot. Um... Just want to like check those. Just make sure you know. Golden seeds do the. Oh, you know what? Let's let's get this memorized really quick, just so I'm like familiar with everything. All right. So flasks. Two golden seeds increases the number. So golden seed does that. Uh, sacred tears increase the amount that they give you. No sacred tears. All right. I'll keep the five to one combo right right now. I'm not really gonna worry about it. Man, so I've got a lot of level up stuff already. Should I hop down here and just see what's up? Wants me to take the plunge, but I'm pretty sure I'll die if I do. Okay. Oh, God. So we have not been down here yet. But there is... Somewhere to rest. Sights... Wait a minute. This... Is this like the tutorial area I never got a chance to see? Sights of Grace. Okay. It's like tell them. Yeah, this might be like a tutorial spot. Interesting. Where does that put it on the map in relation? It's all there. Cave of Knowledge. Okay. Cave of Knowledge. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm assuming there's like something up here to like learn. Okay. You were supposed to come down here early on. Got it. That makes sense! Okay. I'm just gonna fight everything down here. Come on, buddy. Yo, that's so funny. What, like... It's odd because you can either go out of the top and, you know, see the tree setting on all that, or you can just hop down in this cave and learn everything that I should have been learning. That's hilarious. Dodging. That's so funny. A little back step. Uh, I'm not sure if... Oh, somebody's... Wait, how do I attack them, though? Go ahead and collect some of these fruits. Because why not? Wait, was there a way to get up there to that person? There's something over here. I thought, never mind. It's a tree. Uh, it looked like a glowing tree almost. All right, I'm assuming this is like how to break a shield type thing. Wielding armaments. Each hand can be equipped with uh, three armaments. Two-handed. Making attacks more difficult to repel with shields. Okay. Yeah, I wants you to use like two of them. But I'm not going to do that if I can help it. Come on, buddy. Wasn't too bad. I thought I was going to have to dual wield for a minute. I really don't like dual wielding because that parry is everything. Lock on. Yeah, you can change back and forth. I mean, we... It's like, it's funny. We already learned all this. There we go. Easy peasy. 
Was this? Hey, it's funny. I'm guessing this was like in the network test, and I didn't realize it. I skipped the whole area to like learn everything. I'm learning more about the charged attacks. I that's something I didn't focus on a lot in the beginning. Um, skills are okay. I don't really have a skill, I just have like the little... I have that. Yeah, my... that That's all that does. <laughs> it's all it does. I, and it's so risky because you got to get the timing down perfect. Alright, crouching. You know, as much as I would love to be all sneaky, I really want to fight everybody down here. Because why not? I wonder, hold on, let me try something real quick. No, okay. I don't know, I had an idea right there that like, if I ran and did it, it would actually do something else. Stance breaking, okay. Charge attack and then jump. Yep, the jump one is really strong. Yeah, the jumping R2? That's a really good combo. All right, these upon dying, you'll revive here. Okay, so that's not the one I saw earlier. At least I don't think it was. Oh, it's a, it's a boss fight. What in the world? All right, here goes nothing. Two in one video. Uh, soldier of Goderick. Okay, this dude's gonna hit. Oh my God, the damage! Hold on, what? That was not even a boss fight, really, was it? Enemy failed. All right. That's actually crazy. What in the world? I did so much damage. I'm assuming you're supposed to fight this guy when it's, like, earlier on, you know? Um, all right. I guess we get out of here this way. Usually, there's, like, a leave this area, like, this way or whatever. Wait. We came through here. I'm guessing it was the other side. That's pretty cool, though. Like, I didn't know this was down here. I guess the more you know, right? Anything else? Looks like we got something here. This is like the entrance area. Okay, cool. Strength. Got a little emote. All right, so that was it. I'm wondering if we talk to this person now, will they tell us anything different? Take the plunge. Oh, it's the same thing, okay. All right, let me go back to the church before we leave. Um, thank you so much for joining me, by the way. This has been, I think this has been a pretty solid video. Kind of me just exploring. Um, still kind of learning the ropes a little bit. I'm assuming he says the same thing. Purchase anything else? No, okay. Goodbye for now. I'm assuming that like let's look at the map really quick. Where could we go next? In like the next video. I think we've kind of been over here. Uh we got this little looks like a telescope almost. We went to this tree last time, but we, we kind of ran through this area in the second video. I may go exploring over there or like, what about up in here? Oh, like, back... Hold on, back in there. That would be a good spot to go, right? Looks like you can cross through there. Let, let's go to this spot. I'll place a beacon there. Uh, let me remove the first one. All right, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I think, yeah, we'll, we'll do that when we come back next time. Item crafting. Let me see if we got anything else different. Looks all the same. Everything else looks good. Really want a different armor set. This is not, not bad, but I really want the bloody wolf one. All right. Love you all. Best audience ever. If you want more of this game, just destroy that like button. Catch you in the next part. Peace.